Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to make the most out of your first few weeks to, uh, to, a, to your first few months with Unique because there's a right way to go about things, there's a wrong way to go about things, and there's a way that, you know, just certain things you have to know, okay? So your first few weeks, Start making it well known that you sell for an amazing makeup and skincare company, okay? Don't make it obvious, you know, you don't have to post on Facebook saying, hey guys, I'm now selling makeup and skincare, but you should be doing things like as soon as you get your kit in the mail, take a picture of you holding the kit. Take a video of you opening the kit. In fact, I have the kit right over here or the lovely purple bag that I had gotten. And the first thing that I did was take a video of me opening the kit and showing all of the products. In fact, some I still have in here, you know, showing the products. So you don't have to actually say, hey guys, I'm now selling for Unique. But take, you know, little pictures, little videos. You don't have to make it obvious. But the more you post, the more people know what you do. So let's just say as soon as you get your kit, what I want you to do is, is either take a video of you holding it, you know, or um, I should say take a picture of you holding it like, yay, you know, if, if that's as simple as you want to go, that's okay. But if you can also have somebody take a video of you opening the kit. What I did was, I believe it was on my cell phone or the webcam, I can't remember. I just set it up over here, easy. And then I was just simply opening up the kit and being like, oh wow, look what I got. This is for this. Or, you know, wow, look what this is. I did not have to pay for this. You know, something like that. That should be the first thing you do. Then start putting on the products. You know, take a picture of you holding the package like this. And then let's say you put mascara on one eye, but not the other. And then take a picture. Take a video of you putting on the mascara. Save all of these. You do not have to post everything in one day nor do you have to, to um, try all of the products in one day either, but slowly but surely you need to be taking pictures and you need to be taking videos so that over time you could post a video of you putting on your new lipstick on a Monday and then on Thursday of you simply taking um, a picture of you you know, yay, you know, something like that. Because you need to be posting things of you sell, or um, um, I should say, trying the products. Like I have ones here. Um, I spent about 15 minutes this, this morning just taking uh, pictures of me like, yay, <laughs> this too, yay, you know, things like that. That's all I did for about 15 minutes. Am I going to post everything right away? No, but over time I will because you want people to see you loving the products, not only selling them, but also loving them. And don't be afraid to post on social media. Don't be afraid to be annoying. Just Post, but don't sell. You know, I will always, always say share, but not sell. So as a quick example, you could post um, a photo of you holding your new kit. Yay. In the morning. That evening, you could post saying, I tried my new 3D mascara. What do you think? You know, and then the next day, Post an inspirational quote saying, you know, something like, makeup makes me feel beautiful, but I don't need uh, to feel beautiful to wear makeup or, you know, something. Look up these quotes online, you know, by simply typing in, um, I feel beautiful quotes. Lots will come up. And that ties in to you selling makeup and skincare. Um, you could look up a YouTube video on other people putting on their 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. 
you could post an article about why you should wash your face before putting on makeup. You could post an article about why washing your face is so important. You could post about um, unique products being all natural and why that's so important. You know, you're not actually saying, hey guys, buy from me because I need money. You know, you're not doing that. You are posting about your company. You are posting about your products. You need to be doing this right away because I see this mistake a lot where people are coming to me six months after they have joined the company saying, I've sold like two things. I don't know what to do. You know, help me. And I'll say, well, who have you been selling to? And they will always say my mom or well, I bought them for myself. Well, are they posting on social media? Usually not. Are they posting themselves wearing the the uh, lipstick or mascara or just any type of product. Usually they're not. How do you expect people to want to buy the product if all you're doing is saying, I'm putting an order in now, buy from me, any questions? You know, that's not exciting. You need to be showing that you love this and that you love the products. Another thing that works so well is um, being a part of this company means you are able to work from home and post on social media. That's it. A lot of people would love to work from home. So even posting something as simple as, you know, um, take a picture of your iPad and say something like, today I get to work from home doing what I love, selling makeup. You know, that's it. Or take a picture of your cell phone and say, I can sell makeup from my cell phone. Um, or you could say, I love working from home. You know, people will ask questions, maybe not right away, but over time they will say, hey, um, I thought you went to school for this and this. You're working from home now selling makeup? Can you live off that? Like, can you make an income from that? People will ask, ask you questions and then they will want what you have. And then they will want to join the company. If they join, that's amazing because then you are able to make a commission from what they sell. But only if you are of a certain status, which not a lot of people tell you about. There's white. Um, and then there's yellow and then there's pink and then so on and so on. But you do have to be of a pink status for people or, or um, for you to make money off of the people under you. So, and you have to sell a certain amount. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I will look that up actually. Um, let me do that now. But you do have to sell a certain amount to be under pink status. But but that's the exciting thing because it does help you to get motivated to sell. And to sell, you have to share. So I'm just looking up some things now. Um, let me share my screen here for you, ladies. Okay, so can everybody see my screen here? So if you're white, this is you at the beginning, okay? We all start off as white. If you sell $125, now I don't know if this is dollars or points or whatever, but if you sell a certain amount, then that qualifies you to be white, okay? So we all start here. But then as soon as you sell a thousand and some, you are now yellow. And that's actually not that hard. Like even if you host, say, three parties and you sell $200 um, a party, see, that adds up, right? But you do have to get to pink, for people to actually um, be signed on under you and then everything that they make, you also get a commission. So it's pretty awesome. So you will have to sell um, $2,000. Um, you, you also have to sell a certain amount per month um, as well. But you know, it's not that hard, you guys, but you need to know how to do it properly. And as a little incentive, so when you are first part of the company, you can have 20% off. So even if you order for yourself, 
you get points. So 20% off. And then as soon as you get higher and higher and higher, you have a discount plus you earn more in commission. So being pink means you do earn 25% of commission and 3% from everybody who sells under you. So it does add up. So let's say you have say 10 people on your team, you can make a good amount of income. But let's just move back a little bit here. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. So when you first are a part of the company, you don't really want people to sign up under you yet because if you're not of pink status, you're not making any money from what they sell. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to have them sign up from you because you certainly don't want to tell people like, um, well, do you mind not signing up under me yet? Cause I'm not going to make any money from you. You don't want that. So, but the main thing you want is to have them host a party. Okay. One or two or more because everything that they sell from that party, you get the commission. They can have free stuff, but they're not getting a commission per se, but they are having free stuff. So it's a win-win for everybody, but you are getting that commission. But if they sign up under you and then host a party, they have that commission and not you. So first, what I always, always do is I say to host a party and see how you like things. Even if somebody says to me, hi, I want to join the company, I do always say, do you want to host a party first because you get free stuff anyway? If they still want to be a part of the company, you know what? Okay. But I want them to actually host a party first and then to hopefully have their friends and family also host a party. And because the more parties you host, the more people you are able to interact with, which means the more people will order the more people that order is you get more points, sell more stuff to get to a higher status because you need to get to pink to be able to earn commission from people under you. Now, this took me a while to learn. I didn't know this, but that's because people don't tell you, right? They tell you to read what's on the website, but if you're, you're new, it makes no sense to you. At least it made no sense to me. I was like, okay, do I get points? Do I have to sell? Do I have to do both? I'm confused. Like what's happening? So if you have questions, you guys, please just ask me because I know it can be confusing, but as soon as you have the hang of it, it is not confusing and it's so much fun and it does hold you accountable to sell, but you have to know how to sell properly to actually have orders. So that's where I come in. So I hope that that helps. So the first few weeks or months, um, uh, that you're with the company, I want you to be telling people that you sell makeup, order yourself some business cards, order yourself a sweater that has the logo, a hat that has the logo, a, a um, um, headband, whatever, order something with the logo, take pictures of yourself wearing the product so that people can sell that you love or um, see that you love the products and then get people to host parties. Okay. Because the higher you are, the more money you make. Okay. So off the top or, um, first of all, don't have people join the company. That's not something that you should be advertising, but you should be at, um, advertising hosting parties to get free stuff. So does that make sense? Any questions, just let me know.